People always say like, oh, high school is really a time where you shape your identity with yourself, with your friends, and with Hashem. I very vividly remember in eighth grade deciding what high school I wanted, and the biggest reason for me choosing it was looking at specific girls and saying, I want to be like this girl. Chopper. I switched to Eula in 11th grade. I didn't expect how easy it was to take on leadership roles or to start a club. I'm a very spirited person, so it was kind of exciting for me to like to stand up and get in the center of the circle, screaming and cheering everyone on, and like hopefully motivate people to follow their passions and their dreams and be able to be their own leaders. I don't think that it's really an opportunity in other schools that someone who comes in in 11th grade could start a club a month in and could even become the president of the school. I'm Leora Lalazari. Being part of student council, I wanted to make Eula a place where you could really feel at home. Since I'm able to create the chagigas, those moments of ruach, people can feel like they're having like community. I'm Tali Gershav. I'm in 12th grade. My grandparents are originally from Israel, and I grew up with such a strong Israeli background in my family. My main focus at Eula is the Eula Israel Advocacy Club, which I'm now the president of. They take a group of about 40 kids to APAC, which is in Washington, D.C. Eula really gave me the tools to prepare myself for the future, for college campuses, and for when I hopefully go to Israel next year. I can really know about my land and know how to defend it. So the learning at EULA, there's a lot of different levels and different classes. You have those very like text-based classes, but there are also those classes that really infuse like the inspiration of Judaism. My rabbi, he had this intense like love for Hashem. It was one of the most inspirational classes I've ever taken. Since I came here as a freshman, my connection to Hashem has been strengthened so much. I'm really interested in just constantly thinking about what I can be doing to improve myself, to improve what I'm doing. Judaism to me isn't just my religion, it's really the way I live my life. There are other schools that are religious or very academic, but I didn't see another school that really combined the two to the level that neither of them gets compromised. So I think what Eula does so well is just make you feel like your Judaism is present in every single thing that you do. In my Judaic classes, we're constantly being told, you know, this is what Rashi says, this is what Ramban says, and learn from them to challenge the status quo. And I think that mindset follows me into the STEM lab. My name is Leona Seidenfeld. I'm Jenny Pellet. I'm Alana Aslan. I didn't really know what STEAM was coming to Eula. It was more of like create an idea and from there learn the, the skills you need to make that into reality. We were trying to come up with an idea of what could we create that helps girls and women like us every day. We came up with the concept for Hero. So we actually started this as a school project. Hero is basically fashionable, smart jewelry designed to contact help in an emergency. Whether you're walking home at night and it's really dark, or you're in an office and a situation is making you uncomfortable, you can contact help discreetly. They wanted a group to represent the school to take us to CES, which is the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. It's a huge tech conference. I remember we were, all three of us were up presenting, and when we finished, just hearing the clapping, knowing that we're doing this because it can really change people's lives, and just the fact that Eula was able to really give us that opportunity was amazing. We applied to Founders Bootcamp and were chosen for more than 1,100 applicants from more than 26 different countries to receive a $50,000 grant to develop our product more. Without the lab that I'm sitting in here today, without the mentors provided to us, none of this would have happened. Eula was so instrumental in this whole process. From the start, actually, we would meet here in the scene lab. The teachers were constantly working with us to develop the tech to get our prototypes ready. I think it's the work ethic that Eula instilled in us. The values of always like wanting to try harder. Eula creates students 
with the mindset of challenging and creating ideas, both in the Torah classroom and in the secular classroom. For us, it's about making this world a better place. It's about leaving our mark, and that's a philosophy that you as ingrained in us that comes through our Judaism. really pushes for you to become an independent young woman. They really help you find who you want to become and they help you with every single part of that. I really learned how to pursue what I wanted, having teachers that are completely passionate about their subjects and about their students. I love Eula. When I come to school I know I can be myself and I'm not worried about what my friends or the teachers or the principals are going to think and they're not judging me. It makes it such a safe environment to learn and to grow. I think Eula is right for somebody who cares about advancing their own learning, about advancing themselves Judaically, somebody who's really interested in doing extracurriculars and taking honors in driving themselves to become a better person and a better student. It's a very social and happy school. It's very serious when you want it to be, but you can also choose for it to be fun and exciting and just the school as a whole is such a warm environment. The high school is when the classes you take, the teachers you meet, the clubs you join, those things combined help you really find your passion and that sets the tone for the rest of your life.